Ladies and gentlemen, bald Elvis Larry at the Elvis Presley Impersonators Convention in Las Vegas. Hello, you beautiful people. Oh, I just, I just flew in on a wing and a prayer. The stewardess put me on the wing because she said I didn't have a prayer with her. Last time I was here in Las Vegas, the mayor gave me the off key to the city. He said, Elvis and me sing the same with our voices. They would love my voice too, except for two reasons, their ears. Oh boy, I love being here. I can't believe all these beautiful people. Last time I was up here, a girl asked me to go to a motel. But when I, I gave her my key to my hotel room, I told her to meet me up there. When I got up there, my room was ransacked. She took everything I had, I tell you. Oh boy, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm just bursting with pride. I just won an award. I, I, I gotta tell you friends about it. Yeah, it was the world's worst Elvis impersonator. But I got better. I used to be the second worst Elvis impersonator. Now I'm the very worst. I'm so proud. Well, I haven't been proud since Dad bought me a dog. I used to, and every time he had come home from work, I'd run out. He would say, here, boy, here, boy. And I would run out waiting for Huggy Dad to say, not you, the dog. Oh, well, I tell you, it's great to be here at the Elvis Presley Impersonators Convention. The last time that I came to the Elvis Presley Wedding Chapel, I wanted to get married. But my girlfriend and me, we had a slight disagreement. She wanted to wear her, all her bridesmaids to wear blue, and I didn't want to get married. So we get back to the room, in the middle of the day, and there she was completely naked. I said, honey, what are you doing on the bed sitting in completely naked? She said, I have nothing to wear. I said, nothing to wear. I flew open the closet. I said, look, there's a red dress, there's a blue dress, there's Elvis, there's a flower dress. Well, I'll see you later, fans. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time.